Let us all stand for the opening prayer. Let's bow as we pray. Almighty God, our loving Father in heaven, we thank you for the opportunity to worship you tonight. We thank you for the gift of music and for the AUP Academy Chorale who have worked hard in their pursuit of musical excellence and in their desire, Father, to serve you through the ministry of music. We ask, Father in heaven, that you bless them in their performance and also all of us as we all enjoy the music and the songs, Father in heaven, that we are all dedicating to you for your glory. We ask all this, Father in heaven, in Jesus' name. Happy Sabbath, PIC! Brothers and sisters in Christ, AUP Academy would like to welcome you all to this lovely evening of sacred music with the AUP Academy Chorale. We gather here this evening in the presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to worship and make this moment a testament of God's goodness to the talent and dedication of the AUP Academy Chorale members and director. This sacred concert hopes to be a truly transcendent experience as we are going to be serenaded by the voices that touch the divine. As we embark on this musical journey, may the harmonies and melodies uplift our spirits, remind us of the beauty that exists in the world because of God's gift of music, and bring us closer to the presence of the Most High God. Let us open our hearts and minds to the power of music and God's messages as we come together in harmony and celebration. I invite you to immerse yourselves in the sacred sounds of the AUP Academy Chorale and be inspired and strengthened to carry on God's mission. Welcome everyone, and I want you all to greet your sitmates a happy Sabbath. May our hearts be filled with rejoicing and our souls be renewed as we worship Him this evening. Again, I say, welcome, happy Sabbath, and may God be praised. The Adventist Academy Chorale was established in the mid-1980s. The objective at first was to provide an avenue for musically inclined high school students to serve the church through their voices, singing sacred and gospel songs. Despite periodic changes in membership and conductors, the chorale functioned to visit various churches rendering not only sacred concerts and Christmas cantatas, but also sharing inspirational testimonies, conducting lectures, telling of Bible stories, and teaching songs to children. It has always been a pure joy of serving the Lord by spreading God's word through a wider audience. So, 
from the humble venues to the grandest of halls as the culture center of the Philippines and the Philippine International Convention Center, the AUP Academy Chorale continued to shine for the Lord through their passion and chorale music. In time, the group's repertoire became more varied, adding Christmas carols, Broadway songs, classical songs, love songs, and folk songs as well. The group began to sing in various occasions and functions such as birthdays, funerals, weddings, national and international conventions, singing for TV networks such as the Hope Channel and through ABN Adventist Broadcasting Network and also occasionally joining in different chorale competitions. On record, the AUP Academy Chorale has won a number of chorale contests and competitions. They were champions for a number of times at the annual Awit Cavite choir competitions in Tagaytay Picnic Grove and also bagged first prize in the Himig Harana ng Pasco at St. Scholastica's College in West Grove, Santa Rosa Laguna in 2004, 2008, 2009, 2010, and 2012. As a result, the chorale was invited to render concerts and performances at Enchanted Kingdom Theme Park, Manila Peninsula Hotel, Paseo de Santa Rosa Commercial Complex, and Film Live Auditorium in Hill Puyat, Manila. Its more recent accomplishment is winning the Cavite Division Festival of Talents Chorale Competitions for two consecutive years. Despite changes in directorship, the group continues its legacy in ministry and serving God through music. The AUP Academy Chorale has been under the tutelage of different talented conductors since 1986, who are all music degree holders and alumni of the Adventist University of the Philippines. Presently, the chorale is under the tutelage of Mr. Leoven Carl Vallejos, who is also the music teacher for the Junior High Academy of the University. In all their activities, the Adventist University of the Philippines Academy Chorale strives excellence to give all the glory to God.
God is a God of precision and order. The works of his hands are clearly seen in the intricate details of life. He thoughtfully placed the stars in the sky and taught the sun where to rise and where to set. He thoughtfully placed the, bound, the boundary of the land and sea and set the heavens above the earth. He knows the cry of every beast and the color of every flower, but most of all, he knows all of us by name. For our last song in the first part of our concert, we will be singing, How Can I Keep From Singing? Thank you. 
Good evening and happy Sabbath, everyone. I stand before you today humbled and grateful for the opportunity to share my journey with the Academy Chorale. The seeds of my interest were planted in grade seven, but sadly, it doesn't start there. My shyness held me back from stepping into that audition room in front of the discerning eyes of the former director, Sir Punai. Yet, as the years passed, I realized that my passion for singing and my desire to serve through music were stronger than my fears. With newfound courage, I took that step, leaving my doubts behind. And finally, I auditioned. I gave it a try. Yes, I was still kind of shy, but I held on to the belief that I could be an instrument of God's message through the power of song. Joining the Academy Chorale has been a transformative experience. It's not just about singing in harmony, but also about creating a harmonious community. Through shared rehearsals, performances, and moments of sadness, I found family within the chorale. Last year, despite the challenges of limited time and demanding schedules, we still made unforgettable memories to cherish. Together, we proved that dedication, passion, and faith in the Lord can overcome any obstacle. I am grateful for this journey, for the growth it has brought, and the relationships it gave me. The Academy Chorale isn't just a choir. It is a vessel of unity, faith, and the profound joy of making music together. As we move forward, let us remember that as we found the courage to overcome our doubts and fears, we can also have faith that God will always have our backs in the journey of life. Have courage, shine forth for His glory and Him alone.
God is a God of goodness. He delights in that which is pure and noble. And as his children, he desires us to do good as well. Though it is contrary to our nature, God in his abundant love has proven to us a standard which he has set before us. And that is through the Holy Spirit working in our lives and in our hearts. We will open the second part of our concert with a jubilant song entitled, Sing Alleluia, Clap Your Hands, followed by a Tagalog song, Hanggang Langit.
For our sake, he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Colossians 5, verse 21. In spite our nature as sinners, through our first fathers, we are worthy of his goodness, so long as we come to him. We are worthy of his glory, we are worthy of his honor, and we are worthy of his power. God loathes sin, but in his mercy, he provides salvation through his son, Jesus Christ. Thou art worthy to receive his blessings. The next songs that we will be rendering are entitled, Thou Art Worthy, and a traditional spiritual song, Have You Seen the Baby?
There is nothing the devil can do for those who are steadfast in their confessions of Christ and stay true until the end. We follow Jesus, the one who overcome by giving his life for the world. We win not by being the greatest nor the strongest, but by standing fast until the end. We follow. <coughs> so in the days to come, in the great testing and shaking, as well as revival and harvest, we should we should follow Christ and be one who overcome. May you all be blessed as we close our concert, as we sing our last song titled, Into All the World.
Tonight's sacred concert has directed our minds to various reasons why we should, be, we should sing hallelujahs to our Creator. An example of that is found in Psalm chapter 40, verse 3. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. He wants us to be God-fearing, submissive, and trustful to Him every day. The messages of the songs given this evening is tantamount or are tantamount to a powerful sermon to be given tomorrow by our preacher. The privilege of singing hallelujahs is not only for the AUPA chorale, but for everyone. Don't miss that opportunity this Sabbath day and in the coming days to always offer songs of praise and worship. Yes, this evening we have praised the Triune God through music. AUP Coral and the conductor Sir Kyle Vallejo we acknowledge your music ministry in our worship this evening. So on behalf of the pastoral staff, we would like to thank you for leading us in our worship during this Vesper service. God bless you always. Thank you. Let us all rise for a closing prayer. Our gracious Father in heaven, we thank you, dear God, for the gift of music. We thank you, Lord, for the voices that resound in this hall of worship that give praise and glory and honor to your name. Father in heaven, we would like, Lord, to dedicate these young people who have given their talents and service for thee, that you continue, Lord, to use them for the glory of your name. We would like also, Lord, to pray for the rest of the congregation who have listened tonight, that they may go home blessed and filled with your presence and your Holy Spirit, that as we go out, we may be a blessing to each one of us and to our neighbors and to our friends, that we may only speak about Jesus and Jesus alone and that we may be able, Lord, to experience your grace and mercy every day of our lives. Bless us, O God, this Sabbath, and may we go home with the thought that your Holy Spirit will be with us and your holy angels will protect us from any harms and dangers. Forgive us, O God, from our sins that we have committed against thee. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.